Hey everyone, this is Jeffrey Capobianco from Breakthrough Performance Coaching, and I just thought I'd go over a few of the features of the Garmin 910 XT um, tonight. The two in particular that I wanted to talk about are setting up your data fields for the run, as well as setting up your virtual partner for the run. So I'm just going to go ahead and power on my watch by hitting the power button. We'll give that a couple of seconds to, to power up. And since I'm indoors right now, the first thing I'm going to do is just shut off the GPS by hitting mode, scrolling down to GPS, enter, GPS status, enter, enter again, and choose enabled, hit enter, enabled no, and I'm going to mode back out of this until I get to that main screen again. Now, to change any of your settings, the first thing you're going to have to do is hit mode, and that will bring up a menu. So I'm going to scroll down to settings now, hit enter to choose it. Run settings is what I'm after. Data fields is what I want to change. And it defaults to having all of your four data screens on. I'm just going to go ahead and turn three and four off. So I've already done four. I'm just going to hit enter and choose off, enter, and then back out. So I've already done four. So run one. Uh, this is just what I choose to do. I choose to have three screens. I like time on the top. I like pace and distance. So this all looks good. So I'm going to hit mode, scroll down to run two. Hit enter. Now, rather than elevation, I do want three different data screens here, so I'm going to hit enter. Rather than elevation, I'm going to choose cadence. So I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to scroll up to cadence. Um, and I, I just want cadence itself, not average or lap cadence. So I'm going to hit enter. That's just going to give me my strides per minute. The next data field I want is heart rate. And then for this one here, I know what sport I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to calories. Hit enter. Hit mode to back out. And I'm going to choose the auto scroll feature so that it scrolls through these two screens. Hit enter. And I'm going to scroll medium. Choose enter. And then kind of mode my way back out. And once I'm back to that main screen, main run screens, I'm just going to head and scroll down. Now it's going to bring up the virtual partner. So I've scrolled down twice, so I've moved through both of my data screens. The next screen down is going to be the virtual partner pace. So I'm just going to press and hold the down key, and that's going to change the, um, the virtual partner's pace. So um, I'll just go ahead and set it for a generic 730 pace. And you can either just let it time out or hit enter, and now my virtual partner pace is set for 7.30. So when I go out and do a run tomorrow, I'm going to hope to keep 7.30 pace, and Mango will let me know if I'm ahead, behind, or how I'm doing in relation to my virtual partner. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.